This is Ronnie of Copyhan sa Isaac Manila. Today we have a very special guest and we are so grateful that he accepted our invitation. There are so many requests and actually inquiries if we could guest him in our first episode of season 2 in Copyhan sa Isaac Manila. So ladies and gentlemen, we will know him later on, little by little. Uh, I would like you to meet our guest for today. Engineer Sir Eliseo Rio Jr. Thank you very much, uh, Ronnie. First of all, uh, thank you very much for this honor, no, to to be uh, uh, the guest of your uh, uh, webinar uh, today, no, this afternoon. And uh, well, um, uh, being one of the first. Uh, professional ECE is uh, electronic communication engineer pa kami noon eh ECE uh, to to be a granted uh, license way back 1973 okay. uh, I hope that this uh, uh, this is an occasion that I could you know uh, pass on to the younger generation uh, whatever uh uh, experiences that I have, no, uh, but of course those experiences are still uh, um, out, out, outdated na ngayon, no, that <laughs> mga vacuum tubes pa yon. But that is one thing uh, uh, peculiar with our profession, no, uh, the uh, advancement of the technology in IT, in electronics and communication. Is so fast no, that uh, every five years, if you do not catch up, you are going to be uh, left behind. No? So thank you very much for inviting me. Normally, sir, we ask our guests regarding a short story about their name. So, Sir Eliseo, your name is not that quite common compared with other people. And also, your being named uh, immediately after your father because you have the junior or JR. Sir, mm -hmm. meron po ba kayong alam na short story pa paano, uh, how did the uh, Eliseo na Grancenio as your first name, sir? Well, of course, it came from my father, no? I, I was the firstborn, <laughs> named me Junior, no? Uh, and uh, so, Eliseo. Uh, and then after that, I also named my, my, my son, Eliseo the third, And mm -hmm. my son named his son, Eliseo the fourth. <laughs> Uh, Eliseo is, of course, uh, a, a biblical name, no? uh, and that is where I think uh, uh, the name of my father came. Um, re religious sila, na, uh, so, so mga pangalan ng mga anak nila usually comes from the Bible, no? So, okay. yeah, that is how uh, Eliseo came okay. in, no? So, then, during your, your, your younger uh, days, Paano po ba kayo tinatawag sa bahay? JR po ba? June? Or uh, Ellie? Or ano po yung pinaka-nickname niyo sa bahay, sir? Uh, sa bahay, I am June. Juni. <laughs> Juni. Yes, sir. Yan ang parang pet name sa bahay, no? Um, but dito, when, uh, sa, when I... <clears throat> in my professional life, uh, the military, no? Um, of course, the, you are always called the... Well, the first syllable or two syllable of your name. Opo. No? So, Ellie, Ellie ang, ang tuan. But to close friends, I am Juni. Yung... Oh, thank you so much, sir. Sir, saan po ba sila lumaki, sir? Well, I was born in uh, Tapas, Capiz, no? Uh, 1944, October of uh, 1944, no? In fact, uh, I was born October 27. Uh, and you know that on October 24, uh, General MacArthur landed in Leyte, no? Yes, sir. So, three days after Naglan Sila Salete, I was born. Uh, so, but I spent my uh, 
my uh, childhood in Baguio City because my father is also a military man, no, and he became a, a member of the Corps of Professor of the Philippine Military Academy. Okay, okay. My my father is a uh, class forty two graduate of PMA, no, and, yes, and class nila uh, was supposed to uh, have uh, their graduation ceremony on March, no, of nineteen forty two. But uh, war broke out on December of, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 42, no? Ang kanilang graduation, March. But war broke out. Uh, Baguio was bombed uh, on uh, December uh, 9, no? One day after Pearl Harbor. So, lahat ng mga kadeti noon were actually uh, gay. Nabigyan sila ng commission seat. Lahat na yung uh, class 40. 42 and class 43, no? And uh, yung two lower classes, uh, 40, uh, <clears throat> 44 and 45, ay dinisband, no? At pinabalik sa kanilang uh, mga pamilya. So only the two classes, yung uh, first class and second class ang tawag dyan sa PMA, were commissioned, no? And then uh, kaagad, uh, Doon, bataan kagad sila, no? uh, itong mga kadeti, itong uh, bagong commission. So my father, uh, uh, doon, sur- doon sila na inabutan ng surrender ng bataan. Opo, opo. And then he joined the death march. No? Uh, so, uh, but he was able to escape. Mm-hmm. And uh, in escaping, uh, took a boat no, to... Uh, Panay Island uh, to to uh, Capiz, no, uh, where uh, his uh, yung family niya are there, and he joined the guerrilla movement in Panay under uh, Macario Peralta, no, and isa sa sa mga uh, guerrilla commander then, and uh, uh, that's where he met my mother, no, Scalito. Yes, sir. Uh, sa Kalibo Aklan and uh, yun nga then uh, of course uh, hindi pa natatapos ang gera when the Japanese learned that my mother is the fiance of my father mm-hmm. talagang kinwestiyon nila yung mother ko <laughs> opo, opo. Uh, and uh, pan, gusto nilang mag-surrender yung father ko well ang ginawa ng father ko yung lang niya, kinidap na yung mother ko <laughs> at doon doon na uh, um, nag, then of course nagsama na sila no? so, that is where I was born Sir, uh, no high school po kayo since nandun po kayo sa Baguio City and then your father is under the PMA nagkaroon po ba ng pressure na yung magiging course nyo sa college which is related to military also? Well, wala naman wala naman no? in fact, uh, uh, to tell you the truth my father discouraged us to join PMA uh, uh, yung uh, uh, hirap no ng mga lalo ng mga plebo na, yung mga narasa niya that time talagang uh, mahirap talaga uh, ang pa no so uh, so uh, yun nga they were discouraged eh, pero ako naman I don't know uh, military seems to be in my blood so when I was mm, yes, in uh, opo, opo. in college nag ROTC ako then uh, I I took up advance uh, ROTC, no? UP yes, Vanguard. No? So, I, then uh, uh, 1965, I became the core commander of uh, UP Diliman. No? Sir, nung naka-enter po kayo ng college, which is, uh, dalawa po kasi yung, based sa research ko, sir, correct me if I'm wrong. So, UP is ECE sa UP po, and then EE sa UP. Yeah. Yeah. UP Diliman. Apo. Uh, Sir, sino po ba ang nag-push or ito po ba ay dream course nyo or meron po ba nag-influence sa to take the ECE course? Well, actually, uh, walang ECE sa UP. Only yes, EE. Ah, okay, so, sir. Yung, pinapos ko yun sa, sa, sa UP. Pero gusto ko yung communication talaga, no? Because apo, uh, apo. yun ang parang... Uh, my, fa- my father, after he joined the uh, core professor, no? Uh, naging kwansya, na, parang naging signal officer. He's, siya yung mm-hmm. naging uh, head ng opo, opo. Uh, signal uh, core ng PNA. No? So, so doon ako nakuan sa mga 
uh, sa signal core ng ng PMA no mga radio sa mga ganyan so Opo. nung nung nalaman well nung nalaman ko na kwan uh, mas sili ko kasi ang uh, communication so i took Opo. up uh, uh, i finished the uh, uh, BS ECE pa niya noon eh. Uh, Opo, Opo, BS Electronics Communication Engineering uh, sa sa UE na because ang nag ang nag sa Metro Manila uh, mapwa lang yata UST UE um uh, ang, ang nagbibigay ng ng course ng course uh, BS ECE oh, sir. Oo. Oh, oh. Yes. Opo, sir. You didn't uh took the license exam for EE no i did not when uh ECE ka agad no? so ano yung sir yung pinakamahirap na pre preparation na ginawa no kasi sa first batch actually sa mga viewers natin si sir i fourth place lang naman so first <laughs> batch na electronics and communication board exam so take note out fourth place at yung time well, na yun, well, limited pa yung materials and also review center. So, Pap, ano po yung pinaka-preparation nyo during that time? Well, um, during that time, I was already in the military, no? Um, um, so, when I graduated sa, sa ECE uh, 1967, Opo. then uh, I got uh, integrated sa uh, forces sa uh, 68 no so i was assigned sa uh, assigned ako sa Mindanao uh, during that time and uh, then after uh, about 1970 i was assigned sa sa PMA as an instructor no so doon sa PMA uh, ang ang subjects na tinuturo ko is uh, electronics engineering um uh, uh, electrical and ako yung uh, advisor nila sa radio club nila doon. No? Yes, sir. <laughs> ang, ang mga kadete. So, when uh, I learned that uh, the first board examination for EC was to be given in 1971, nasa yes, ako noon as instructor, nagkuha ko ng leave. Uh, I think that uh, three months leave, no? So that I can review <laughs> opo, opo, opo. And, 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 and of course, tumulong na yung pagka instructor ka, uh, nakatulong yun. No, sa, yes, sir. So, yun. Uh, uh, so, I was already a, a, in the armed forces uh, when I took up the exam. In fact, I am the first uh, uh, armed forces uh, <clears throat> officer who, who became a licensed yes. uh, engineer. Uh, Engineer, yeah. so, sir, may tanong uh, po ako. During the review, katulad po ba kayo ng mga young generation ngayon na nagsusulat din po ng mga formulas at pinapaskil sa dingding, sa Manila <laughs> paper, or paano po kayo process ng pag-review nyo lang? Uh, kasi noong kanya-kanya eh. I don't know hmm. kung ang UE that time uh, uh, gave uh, a review class, no? But I did not. Uh, doon lang ako sa, sa bahay na nagre-review no? then uh, nagkakuha ng mga mga <clears throat> of course yung mga latest uh, uh, development yung sir, strength of materials okay. yung, Sir, nung nagre-review po kayo at nag, natapos na po yung board exam do you expect na magtatap po talaga kayo? Well, hindi, hindi talaga no? Oh yes sir, of course I did my best no Ayun, pagdating uh, ng result, number four. Opo. Um, so, ano po yung pakiramdam nyo na hindi kayo nag-expect? You just only wanted to pass the board exam. And then suddenly, you're also one of the uh, top nature. Ano po yung pakiramdam that time, sir? No, without course, expectation. I was uh, proud din, no? Uh, especially na, <coughs> na being the first ECE uh, uh, <coughs> licensed uh, officer in the Air Forces. Um, nakuha din na uh, may konting award din from, from the Signal Corps of the uh, AFP. No? Opo, opo, opo. Uh, and then of course, uh, <clears throat> congratulations dito, congratulations doon. Uh, UE, kasi ako ang highest uh, yes, passer sa UE, that, sa BATS na yan. Well, honored me uh, and gave me an award. No? 
Yes, sir. Ang, ang by the way, ang nag-top noon is St. Louis of Baguio. Oh. Yeah. Sir, pwede ko po bang matanong, uh, ano po yung license number natin? 00048. <laughs> oh, so pang number 48 pa po pala kayo na nag-register. Oh, uh, because uh, uh, yung uh, one, yun ang Opo. chairman of the board, no? Ah, oh, yes, sir. Up to uh, uh, 44, yun ang mga hindi nag-examination, no? Mm. Uh, because of their experience Opo, na, na nabigyan. So, ang ang top namin uh, <clears throat> Uh, was zero 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 four four, no? Okay. Sir, sir, do you think yung training yung po sa military at the same time yung pagtuturo yun nakadagdag din talaga dun sa pagtake yun ng board exam? Yeah, nakatulong sa akin. Dahil um, hindi na kasi ang tinuturo ko rin sa PMA is sa uh, <clears throat> uh, well, electrical engineering pero okay. more or less as the uh, advisor of the radio club ng mga kadete, I am also, well, uh, lecturing to them yung mga yes, latest, no? Sa mga opo, opo. Uh, radios, no? Opo. Lalo na pag-design ng antena. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, sa, sa, oh, yung mga tactical antena pang, pang design namin. <laughs> opo. Sir, kanina po, uh, you mentioned na nagtuturo na po kayo before actually getting the license. So, ito po ba yung kinoconsider nyo na first landed job nyo, yung uh, teaching? Well, ang first landed job ko when, when I was uh, <clears throat> accepted sa, as a commissioned officer of the armed forces. Oh, yes, sir. So, so yun. Uh, and I was uh, in the regular force, so parang uh, habang buhay na yung trabaho nyo. And, sir, yung transition ng mga different jobs na napasukan nyo po, ano po yung pinakamahal nyo talaga, sir? Kasi, uh, based doon sa research ko, since uh, under po kayo ng gover as government personnel, and then napunta rin po kayo as commissioner ng NTC, tapos et, recently nga po sa DICT. So, well, sa Armed Forces, yun ang pinakamatagal ko, of course, no? 30, uh, 34 years ako sa Armed Forces, no? Um, and yung pinaka, of course, yung pinaka, Ang daming naranasan sa armed forces, no? Opo, uh, opo. Yung ako yung second lieutenant, doon, na-assign na, ako sa Mindanao at uh, kami ang nagbibigay ng uh, communication sa yung paglaban noon sa mga, yung MIM, no? Mindanao yes, Independence Movement. Then, of course, ni, ni, uh, ni Nur Miswari, no? Yun ang problema noon sa, sa Mindanao. Bago ako na na Na, na ilipat sa PMA to teach, no? Uh, of course, yung pi, sa pinaka-memorable ko sa AFP is yung naging uh, uh, na-assign ako as uh, defense attache sa, sa Kuala Lumpur, no? Three years ako doon. Um, and then, uh, na-assign ako as the chief signal officer of the armed forces, no? Yung pinakakuan. And that time, uh, ang, uh, that was way back um, 1998, 1999, and 2000. No? I retired October 27, year 2000. No? Opo. So, but that time, mayroon na tayong 2G na tayo noon. <laughs> yes, sir. Opo, sir. So, so yung, yung uh, uh, nagkakuha na tayo noon, may mobile network na tayo. In fact, Inamit namin yung, tandaan mo, si ERAP nag-declare ng all-out war sa, sa Mindanao yes, uh, way back 1998, no? Ayun, uh, ginamit namin yung mga cellphones ang ginagamit namin doon. 2G mm -hmm. cellphones pa noon, opo, opo, opo. Uh, Sa pag-communicate dahil um, naghinilingan namin ang Globe and Smart. Sila lang ang pa noon. Yes, to put up uh, Pico cell sites doon sa mga area mm -hmm. of operation namin. No? Dati, uh, pinilit sila na, ng presidente no? uh, na uh, suportahan ang, ang armed forces. Dati, ilag sila. Pero nung naglagay sila ng Pico cells, aba, doon nag, uh, nag, uh, ang mga tao no? in that community 
ay nagbilihan na rin ng cellphone. Cellphone, no? that's her. Dito na, no? At, uh, at, uh, <clears throat> at of course, ang naging isang problema doon, yung paano mag-load. At kung matanda nyo, yes, sir. magpa-load ka noon ng 2G, bibili ka nitong plastic na card. No? Tapos, yes, sir. Opa, isa scratch, sir. Ipapasok mo, ipapasok mo, ganyan. Opo. So, hindi namin mapadala sa mga sundalo yun, na nang nang ito pa no dahil wala pang actualing service ang mga ma, maraming part ng Mindanao no? wala pa talagang service no so ang ginawa namin kami ang unang nag nag uh, nagkuan ng pasalog <laughs> oh kayo nag initiate kami, sir our forces no kasi ang dami namin sundalo sa opo, sa frontline sa opo, opo. Eh. tas magpadala ka ng ng mga cards na yon yes sir opo so so very inconvenient no uh, so ang ang kwan uh, kumuha kami from Globe and Smart sa you know, ng ng mga uh, numbers no na yes, nakanila kwan nakalagay sa isang CD as mga isang CD binibili namin ng mga uh, one, uh, 1 million pesos yung mm. number of kwan doon yes sir opo opo no then yun ang pinapadala namin sa by, by SMS no yung yung number pinapadala namin sa sa mga sundalo namin opo, opo, opo. no yung nagre-request no so yun ang umpisa actually ng ng pasa load kasi ano pasa doon sa Quandel uh, then uh, since yung uh, uh, komel ng arm forces sila rin ang kami rin ang nagkakuha nung uh, uh, mga uh, payroll ng mga sundalo natin okay. no ay uh, <clears throat> uh, so dating kasi ang ang panamin is pag bumili ka ng bulk ng numbers uh, itong mga pins sa sa okay. Okay. Smart, uh, may 20% discount no then ay uh, ibinebenta naman ito at full full price so yung yes, nagbebenta nakakaroon ng 20% na tubo no opo opo so kasi ang air forces bumili ng marami nabili namin yung yung pa ng uh, uh, may 20% discount kami so binigay namin yung sa sundalo mga yes, mga kan so opo. yung 1 peso load uh, noon ay uh, binabayaran lang ng mga sundalo ng 80 centavos no opo opo yung kan- sir nung nasa armed forces po kayo so diyan po kayo medyo matagal talaga na nag-serve ah uh, yung question ko sir paano niyo po namimintay yung balance so balance po as a father balance po as a ah. husband and balance po as definitely also as a public figure and also yung balance niyo dun sa profession niyo sir Kala, parang it comes naturally no of course yung family ng isang uh, nasa armed forces nasa military kasi uh, nag-adjust na rin sa buhay ng sundalo no opo uh, so yun uh, lahat naman na ng family ng mga sundalo natin eh, well nag-adjust talaga yung full family no eh, ako naman wala problema because yung father ko was also uh, military no. Opo, uh, opo. So yun, yun lang ang kwento. So para sir na adapt niyo paano po yung sistema po ng father niyo na how did he implemented to keep the balance in the family. Ina-apply niyo rin po ba sa sarili yung family sir? Oh, uh, but mostly yung kung ang father ay hindi makaganap ng function sa family, yung opo. yung mother ang ang gumagawa niya no. Opo, opo. So so yun. So kayo para sir yung kayo po yung commander sa sa, sa work. Si Mrs. po ba yung commander sa sa bahay? Si Mrs. So oh, ganoon. Ah, uh, Mrs. ang commander, no? Kaya nga two rank higher ang mga Mrs. ng mga military. <laughs> Opo. Sir, yung po bang mga anak niyo, sir? Ah, uh, sabi niyo po kanina, meron po ang ano, uh, the third. Opo. Si the third po ba, sir? Naging uh, nagkaroon po ba din pa ng influence sa military? Hindi. Uh, tatlong anak ko, dalawang babae, uh, the first and second, the eldest and the second are Opo. girls, the youngest is a boy, no? Opo. Ay, ayaw, ayaw mag-sundalo. Uh, <clears throat> Al- alam mo, yung mga babae ko pa ang mahilig sa 
Sa PMT. Opo, opo. So, napaka-ironic din nang nangyari sila. Oo. Eh, noon nga, eh, uh, binuksan ng PMA na yung uh, pwede nang pumasok mga female cadets, no? Opo. Oh, gustong-gusto nila. Ako lang nagsabi na. <laughs> so, pinagbawalan nyo rin. Na, binigyan nyo rin. Opo, 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 sir. Pwede po ba akong mag-request na inspirational message sa inyo? Inspirational message to our viewers? Um, well, feeling, of course, to be a uh, ECE or uh, a, a, a professional electronics uh, engineer, no? Uh, dapat feeling mo yan, no? Uh, the same manner that some people hilig nila maging doctor or uh, maging uh, architect or or well other uh, uh, fields of engineering no uh, electrical civil uh, mechanical no so hilig yan no ng pano yan and uh, of course kung hilig mo you you will really pursue the uh, whatever requirements uh, that are needed for you to uh, pursue that profession, no? Uh, well, uh, tayo naman lahat na, 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 na uh, electronics engineer, I of course, mayroon tayong common, no? Except uh, sa atin ngayon, uh, matuturing nyo kami ang mga, anong tawag sa amin? Uh, baby boomers. <laughs> Noon na ngayon, ang pinakabago, Gen X na ba ngayon? No, nga, clan? Ang gap natin, of course, uh, each generation, uh, mayroong mayroong technology, no, na na prevalent during our generations, no. So so uh, from college, from graduating to college to where you are now, the uh, IT technology is so fast, no. Uh, mga computer natin na uh, almost five years obsolete na yan. I think uh, ang ang IT no is one of the fastest changing technology no na na nakakuha natin dito. Kulang sa ating mga <clears throat> sa mga ating sa ating profession you have to keep up no or else mawawala ka talaga no uh, mawawala ka sa sa development, a very fast development ng ating technology, let us keep ourselves abreast, no? Para maging uh, uh, <clears throat> relevant tayo when okay. we are uh, working on, uh, on well, when we are performing our profession. Mm -hmm. Opo. Sir, ano po yung next kay Sir Rio? Meron po ba kaming aabangan for Sir, kay Sir? Ah, well, um, of course, fully retired na ako ngayon. Um, wala nang regular job, no? Since I left uh, the ICT May 22 last year, 2020, Opo. no? But uh, still, uh, because of this COVID, uh, number one din par ang problem sa, sa atin is uh, especially internet connectivity, no? Yes, sir. So, isa yan sa, um, um, nag-form kami ng uh, community Wi-Fi advoc advocacy mm. para mag-put uh, up ng uh, community Wi-Fi in every place. No? Na its hotspot, its access point will earn uh, a li living parang franchise. Eh, no? okay. In other words, uh, uh, mayroon kang uh, access point equipment. No? Mag, uh, yung franchise owner yes, sir. will uh, invest on a um, access point equipment no? and then yung, yung reach niya is about 100 meters and yung mga neighbors niya ang, ang, ang bibili ng ang mag-access ng internet through his uh, hotspot. No? Parang, parang walang kaiban sa community pantry uh, so punta ka dito sa yes, sir. ang tawagan namin is sari sari eh. So, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Di ba, sari-sari store sa Pilipinas, eh, halos lahat ng block mayroon. So, opo, kung opo. lahat ng block no, sa, sa community natin ay may access point, no? And, uh, uh, kasi sa ngayon, mahirap pa maglagay ng access to the internet to every home, no? Because itong mga hotspot na ito will be, uh, kung pumunta ka sa hotspot na ito, parang sa Singapore ka sa bilis. Opo. So, napakaganda ng inyong advocacy na ginawa, yes. sir. Opo, opo. 
So yes, and then ito pa, uh, you can pay as low as five pesos uh, to access the internet of, uh, by megabytes, no? Sa, sa DICT ngayon, uh, yung free Wi-Fi ng DICT, pumunta ka sa isang free Wi-Fi uh, hotspot, Opo. you get free uh, 50 megabyte for the day, no? Ang problema, pag naubos mo ng 50, 50 yes, megabytes na yun, you have to go back the next day to, to kan. Eh, pero yung, yung ibang gusto mag-continue, willing na talaga magbayad, no? Yes, pero wala silang mapuntahan. So ito na lang. Pag Opo. pumunta ka sa isang hotspot, ay mayroon ka ring libre ang 50 megabytes, no? So, ang tawag nga namin dyan is freemium, no? Actually, freemium, the word from free and premium is uh, an IT term, no? Kahit yes, may Google niyo yan. Uh, it is an IT term where uh, a service is initially offered free, but in its after that service, free service, then you have to pay, no? Kaya katulad ng free Wi-Fi access mo sa airport, no? Because tayo mga Filipino, record, uh, ngayon, dati SMS tayo, no? Ngayon, the past uh, five years, tayo ang number one in the whole world na nag uh, number of hours spent in the internet. We are going to have a, a pilot Nagpirmana na kami yung advocacy group namin yung nagpirmana with uh, the city government of uh, Quezon City no with uh, Mayor Joy Del Monte opo opo na maglalagay kami ng 1000 na uh, uh, tawag namin 1000 community wifi no? so mga ta mga uh, gusto mag-invest on putting up uh, uh, a free access uh, an access point in their uh, premise no in fact, uh, it could be, uh, uh, we, we think that it's going to be uh, as uh, popular as uh, uh, Lichon Mano. Thank you, sir. Sir, I will give you enough time to greet your loved ones or shout out to your ah, friends okay. and everyone, sir. It's The floor is now yours, sir. Well, thank you, uh, Ronnie, for, for giving me this opportunity. No? Uh, yeah, I... Um, Thank you for it made me possible to reach the uh, the uh, well our, our generation of uh, professional engineer, electronics engineers now um, and uh, I think no young generation I mean, and the generation of the new um, engineers um, have has uh, we can learn from you you can learn from us okay. no? uh, especially when. So on a personal note also, I would like to greet my family members, no? Um, my wife is uh, Mrs. Rosalinda uh, Rio. She's from Cavite. Uh, grandmother, grandfather, no? We have uh, my two uh, children are in New Zealand. Kuha na sila, no? So I, alam ko, abutin to na. Eh. Apo, sir. Itong ating man will be uh, maabot dun sa New Zealand, so... And uh, uh, of, of course, my my family uh, in Kalibua uh, clan, yan, yung mga clan yon. Hi. <laughs> so this is the beauty nga of uh, communication. No? Opo. Isang kwan, you can greet uh, the whole world in fact. <laughs> sir, uh, meron po akong two to three past talk, sir. Okay. Opo. Sir, ano po yung secret nyo? to maintain na no, physically fit pa rin po kayo right now? Well, of course, uh, um, physically, you have to exercise. No? I, um, I'm now 77 years old. No? Uh, when I took the first board examination in 1973, I think you are you were not yet born, Ronnie. <laughs> opo, opo, sir. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> so, so, halos lahat ng... Uh, Sa audience ngayon, we're not yet born when I first took the uh, uh, first ECE board examination in 1973. No? So, yun lang. Um, of course, uh, it helps also the, uh, to be in the military, no? Because iba yung regime ng, ng Opo. trabaho sa military, no? Uh, physically, you have to be fit and things like that, no? But yun nga, take care of your health. Uh, it's a very 
important uh, <clears throat> wealth, no? Health is wealth okay. talaga. That's very, very... So, sir, idudoktong ko yung aking next question sa inyo, maintaining your uh, being healthy. Ano po yung favorite food ni Sir Rio? <laughs> Well, you want me to eat adobo, dinuguan, <laughs> pero moderation. <laughs> opo, opo, opo. Yeah. So, adobo at dinuguan yung favorite ni Sir, ni sir Rio pala. Uh, kari-kari. Uh, ah, kari-kari din, sir. Yeah. Pag binigam ako ng kari-kari, uh, hindi ko palapasin yan. Opo. Sir, Sige. kami po sa ISF Manila ay lubusang nagpapasalamat. Lalong-lalo na po ako sa pag-accept ng aming invitation sa interview na to. We learned so much from you, sir, because uh, we are so actually grateful uh, for this interview. So, thank you so yeah. much, sir. Ako thank you. Sumasaludo, sir. Sumasaludo <laughs> sa inyo, sir. Sir, maraming salamat. Uh, thank you. Isa lang ang natutulan ko kay sir. Change is difficult, but it is very essential to survive. So, thank you so much, everyone. See you once again in our next episode. Thank you.